Hello my dear students. Today we are going to learn about hill climbing algorithm. Okay. It's it's a method or an algorithm coming under the category of heuristic or informed search strategies which is actually used to solve different types of AI problems like a block world puzzle. Many problems can be solved using this strategy. And we are going to discuss the uh, benefits and the drawbacks of this particular algorithm and how that drawbacks can be overcome okay and uh, we are focusing on how this strategy works rather than how it is applic applicable or how it's, it has been applied to solve an AI problem and the most interesting part is that it's named according to its working that means how uh, this particular or the viewpoint of uh, this algorithms working and uh, uh, it is demonstrated as a person climbing a hill that is focusing on to the higher points higher peaks and uh, no backtracking is there backtracking means coming down when a person is climbing the hill he always try to go up rather than climbing down uh, so it's often used when a good heuristic function is available for evaluating the states and uh, no other useful data is available so we only have this particular heuristic function in such cases we are going to use hill climbing algorithm and uh, many different new varieties are available today so these are all concepts which will allow you to understand what is a control uh, strategy okay uh, so for example if we uh, mention about the case of hill climbing algorithm and it's working suppose you are in an unfamiliar city okay you do not have a map and uh, you need to reach the downtown or the main town of the city so how that can be possible see you are in a city and you are at this particular point and you want to reach the town what will be your uh, idea don't think about the practical applications that will uh, you will ask some persons and you will uh, go according to them we have our uh, language with us so we can do anything i'm not uh, meaning that from a common sense we understand that this area having the highest buildings will be uh, the downtown or the uh, main town so we'll walk towards that higher points that's it this is an example given in your textbook so in this case what is the heuristic function heuristic function here is a distance between your current location and the location of the tall building and what is a desirable state here the desirable state here is in which this distance is minimized that means when you are more uh, what we say uh, so near to uh, the um, large buildings or the tall buildings that is a desirable state okay uh, see the example of the block world puzzle how it is being solved how you will solve it see this example this is the initial state and this is the goal state okay so uh, assume that you are implementing hill climbing algorithm here in playing the block world puzzle so um, if you are using hill climbing here what you are going to do is you will be having the distance between these blocks in the gold state okay so a b and c where b is on the top of a and c is on the top of b so the distance between a and c will be greater than the distance between a and b all right so according to this distance the blocks are being used so when more blocks comes up uh, uh, there may have some difficulties to uh, solve this problem okay uh, and we are not in detail into uh, how this has been implementing to solve the problem we are just understanding how the hill climbing algorithm works that's it okay so when we discuss in detail hill climbing algorithm is of two types that is simple hill climbing and steepest as assigned cl uh, hill climbing okay so first we will see simple hill climbing algorithm in simple hill climbing algorithm it's the simplest method to implement a hill climbing concept i'll first show you an example then we'll move on to the uh, algorithm so see the example here this is a 
I have, I have shown you in the form of a tree so that uh, it will be easy for you to understand. That's why. So it's it's a, it's just a sample demo. It's not actually a actual implementation. I have given this example so that it will be easy for you to understand. Okay, I have given the data in the form of a tree so that it will be easy for you to traverse. Uh, it is not actually a control strategy which is implemented in the case of a tree data. It's actually uh, can be used in any type of AI problem solution. Okay, so we are just uh, finding out how this particular concept works. That's it. So we are focusing on climbing a hill, right? So uh, hill climbing means we are starting from the bottom phase and we are moving on to uh, the um, peak phase. So actually our goal will be the highest value here. So if our goal is uh, here, it's given that our goal node will be K and that K will be having the highest uh, heuristic value that is 40 that means the highest distance will be given for the goal node that's the first point to be considered in the best first method we have discussed about cost okay and the minimum cost was the, uh, was the consideration for moving from one point to another and in the case of hill climbing algorithm what we are using is that it is not actually the cost it is actually the distance so uh, the we are and we are focusing on the point having the highest distance or the highest height okay so we are going to climb the hill from a and we have to reach to k so how this particular concept is is being implemented that is that's we are what what we are going to see so let's see the working so at first so listen carefully and uh, get your notes okay at first I am starting my journey or climbing the hill from the initial or the lowest distance node that is 27 value and it is given to the point A. So first of all I am going to climb the point A having the value 27. So if I am giving it in a graph what happens is at first I will plot the point A. Now I would like to move from one location or this point to a higher point and my aim is being here and this value will hold K right okay so how the system works is after picking a we are not implementing it by using Q or a stack or something like that actually we have we do but the concept here is we are not uh, taking the all the neighbors or uh, uh, in any order likewise we are not doing that we are just picking randomly any of the neighbors without any prior considerations we are picking any of the neighbors so i can pick b i can pick c i can pick d no conditions at all so uh, uh, most probably it will be from the left or the right okay in any order so i have randomly picked b first after picking b i will compare the heights 27 is that of A and 29 is that of B. I will compare it and this height value will be the heuristic function here. So uh, let's see this. So A is picked first then A is compared with B randomly. Randomly I will going to pick the first node or the first data available. That's it. And I am comparing the value of that picked node. Okay, so there is a variable that we are using here is the current state. Okay, so uh, if uh, the, in the initial point A is the current state. Okay, and we have plotted A in the graph. If the point that we have found now, that is B, if that B is having a height greater than that of A, that means I can climb. Alright, if I'm A the value 27, 27 a column higher right value and I can pick that value because I would like to go up. Alright, if I am getting a higher cost value, so not, not a cost value, higher height value or the uh, value heuristic value which is greater than A, I will pick B, this, this value. Okay, if, suppose, this hold a value 20 not 29 it is 20 that means that it is a value which is lower than B and I would like to go up 
right if i am picking b i will go down the graph so i will ignore b and go to the next one okay that is the consideration of uh, changing the points elsewhere we are getting the first point we are comparing that point with the uh, value and we are um, moving to the solution so therefore as the, uh, as the um, height of b that means the heuristic value of b is greater than that of a we reassign the value of current state variable as b initially it was a then we are plotting b right in the tree or in the graph we are plotting b so rather than this tree what do you need in hill climbing algorithm is this graph okay all all about uh, this graph is needed and and one of the most important drawback of this algorithm is that i couldn't backtrack that means if yan ibide ettiyappo enikku manasilai move cheyan pattilla allengil endengil error sambhavichu enikku tirichu povan pattilla okay so once i have selected b the itrayam bhagam ee oru tree il itrayam bhagam i have removed ini enikku cheyan pattunnathu b ide sub points il select cheyanu mathrana okay and now i am going to check randomly a value from as a child or neighbor of b so i have randomly selected e and what happens if i select f nothing happen i will be stuck there i cannot find k this is a drawback of hill climbing algorithm okay so i am selecting e and comparing the value of e with b it is greater than that of b check here so e is picked h of e is greater than h of b therefore i have reassigned the value of current state as e and i have plotted it in the graph and i am frequently comparing whether this is a peak value as it is not a peak value the process continues now moving on to e e only have a single uh, child node i am comparing the value of e and k k is picked and compared with e h of k is greater than h of e therefore the current state is equal to k and that k is the gauge state and we stop the procedure here by plotting k out there okay fine this is what we call as a hill climbing algorithm so you'll be having many different doubts in your minds right how this is possible how it can be done if if the value um, or a random selection is going to f what happens i cannot find a solution and that is what the drawback of hill climbing algorithm and how that drawback has been solved it has been solved by using or by implementing backtracking ബാക്ക്ട്രാക്കിംഗ് ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ എഫ് ആണ് ഞാൻ സെലക്ട് ചെയ്തത് തെറ്റായിരുന്നു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എനിക്ക് ബിയിലേക്ക് തിരിച്ച് പോയിട്ട് ഇനെ സെലക്ട് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ബാക്ക് ട്രാക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് വിൽ ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ഇൻ ലേറ്റർ സ്ലൈഡ്സ് ഓക്കെ റൈറ്റ് നൗ കൺസിഡർ ദിസ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഇവിടെ കെ ഇവിടെ ആയിരുന്നു ഓക്കെ കെ വോസ് എ ചൈൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഇ സപ്പോസ് കെ ഈസ് എ ചൈൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഐ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഇഫ് ഐ എം റാൻഡംലി സെലക്ടിംഗ് ബി വെദർ ഐ കുഡ് ഫൈൻഡ് എ സൊല്യൂഷൻ നോ and what the graph will look like is i will first go to a i will first move to a i will first traverse a then i am randomly selecting a point b right i am comparing the value of a with that of b 29 is greater than 27 and that's why i have plotted the point b here right now i have randomly selected a point e and compare that with b and the value 33 is greater than 29 and that's why i have plotted the point e but i have no other points to traverse and i couldn't backtrack so i assume that this is the highest point and i have reached the solution but whether i have reached the solution no because i am stuck there in the local maxima and this point is called the local maxima actually the value that i have to find is the global maxima so these are some key terms that we will use in hill climbing algorithm so if you are practically thinking what is the use of this algorithm whether it is needed whether uh, that's that's what i am going to tell you okay this is just algorithms which shows you different strategies which can be implemented while solving a problem that's it okay and this is one of the drawback of hill climbing algorithm that is called local maxima we will see it in later slides 
so you just uh, not the, not this point out that if your uh, selection is wrong no backtracking is there so how this problem can be solved we can implement backtracking and i have found that e is not the gold state so i can go back to b and take f so i have found f is not the gold so i can go back to a from b and select any other node c or d so that's the solution okay now let's see the algorithm okay so how this algorithm works let's take it so the first step evaluating the starting state we have started from the point a if it is a gold state then stop and return success okay whether that was the gold state no then what did we do go to step 2 else continue with the starting state as considering it as the current state this is a variable so i am continuing as it is the current state okay continue step 4 do this step until you get the solution okay or there is no other node to traverse so two options are there whether you are getting the solution you can stop and whether you have no more node to traverse you can stop okay so what all things are done in this step 4 is the core of this algorithm okay so i am now in the current state that is a select the state that has not been yet applied to the current state and apply it to produce a new state that means we do not have a prior con conditions or considerations i am just randomly picking any node and i am comparing that node with the current value procedure to evaluate how that new state can be found how that procedure is done if current state is the gold state check then stop and return success if it is better than the current state that means i am picking a as the current state i have a new state b and i am comparing the value of b with a if it is better than the current state that means the value is higher than the current state then make it the current state that means we have assigned or reassigned current state is equal to b that is this procedure and proceed further if it is not better if the value of b is lower than that of a if it is not better than the current state then continue in the loop until a solution is found that means you can go to the next neighbor and the procedure repeats this is what is the simple hill climbing algorithm moving on to the second type of hill climbing algorithm that is steepest hill climbing or steepest as an ascent hill climbing algorithm the only change when compared with simple hill climbing algorithm is here is uh, besides picking up a random node we are here comparing all the neighbors and picking the most favorable neighbor okay let's see it and find the difference see the uh, graph here okay in simple hill climbing what did we do we uh, take a we compared random with b so the only change the the only change of this steepest hill climbing is that after picking a we are not randomly picking any value we are comparing all the child nodes of a that means b c and d and we are taking the most what most favorable value or the or the point which is having the highest value there is a small condition out there b c and d is compared and we are selecting the value having the highest heuristic function here it is d so after a we'll go to d then no backtracking is there we are going to deal with the child nodes of d only and this b and c uh, sub graphs are being ignored after d i'm going to, to pick i or j not randomly i'm comparing i and j and selecting the most favorable node that is j that is 36 after j obviously i will move to k that has been given in this graph so i have climbed the tree or uh, hill perfectly and i have found the goal 
here also there comes the problem of local maxima suppose this k is been situated here because 39 is also a lower value than 40 so this k can be placed here what happens what happens is we will be stuck in j right so compare because uh, 39 is a higher value uh, than 36 and 34 so this is the most favorable value so if k comes here no problem comes up but using st uh, steepest hill climbing we will be stuck in j we cannot find the solution so here also there is a problem of what uh, local maxima okay and that can be only solved by implementing backtracking so let's see how it works all other uh, conditions are uh, like uh, the simple hill climbing here we implement a new term successor so uh, i have not written here uh, here we have a current state as a and we have successors b c and d so b c and d are compared okay and the most favorable value of successor is being assigned as uh, assigned to the current state that's the difference so a is compared with all its neighbors h of d is greater than h of c is greater than h of p and the most higher value is taken that its current state is equal to d d is picked in and is compared with all its neighbors j and i j is greater than i therefore current state is equal to j and j is only child is k i'm comparing k's heuristic value with not e it is j i have got gold state as k that's a result so moving on to the algorithm let's see how it works evaluate the initial state simple as similar to the simple l climbing if it is the goal state then return success and stop else make the current state as the initial state and if a is the goal state a goal state i rinilla lo nammal adutha point like move edile so what is that step we'll see it loop until a solution is found or current state does not change that means do this following procedure until you get a solution or you do not have any other node to traverse same same as simple hill climbing so what all step we can do is the uh, new point or the new nodes that we are going to compare is named as a variable successor SUCC let SUCC be a state such that any successor of the current state will be better than it okay for each operator that applies to the current state apply a new operator and generate a new state the operator here that we use is the greater than function we are comparing the values and we are finding or evaluating a new state that has been shown here apply a new operator and generate a new state evaluate the new state that means we are going to find a new outcome in uh, the example that we have seen it is the most favorable new state is d while compared with b and c using a new operator greater than we have found the result as d then we will check whether d is the goal state if d is the goal state we can return and quit or give success otherwise we have to compare it to the successor that means d is being compared with a if d is greater than a what we have to do is we can plot it in the graph if it is better than the successor then set the new state as successor state now if the successor is better than the current state then set the current state to successor what happens there is c here a is the current state i am comparing a with all its neighbors by implementing a new operator greater than and a is compared with all its neighbors b c and d before comparing a with b c and d i am comparing b c and d individually and i am getting the most favorable node from b c and d and i have got the point d because it is holding the highest value among these three nodes so that favorable value is assigned to successor s u c c now i am comparing successor and current state okay that means h of d and h of a is compared that means i have to check whether this value is greater than 27 suppose this is uh, th this value hold the value 32 what happens i couldn't pick d because th d is most favorable while compared to these three nodes but while compared to a d is not favorable so what happens is if i am picking a successor value 
that means the most favorable value which is higher than current state i am assigning or i am reassigning current state as the successor value that's happening here current state is equal to d i am assigning the value of current state as successor value if if the comparison got wrong that means a is 32 what happens is this most favorable value is not greater than what this value that means h of t will not be greater than h of a what happens if h of t is not greater than h of a i cannot assign current state is equal to d what happens then in such cases we have, we may have to backtrack okay so this is what you need itramari keta itramans laga simple hill climbing ela randomly select edu appam idu random check eda madiyirunu steepest hill climbing ela randomly check edunadinu pagaram most favorable node wide check edu appam ivide oru checking varanam aadyam to find the most favorable one or the successor then idum idu nammal onnoda compare cheyanam that's a difference randalum drawbacks are the same it remains the same that local maximum if k comes under h what happens the value will be stuck in j okay that is it and we'll see the drawbacks or anomalies of hill climbing algorithm in the next class okay thank you